His only touch of the game. And Lancer just about, just about Donald into a semi final. Incredible that it came down to this. Leinster, they're in the final, deservedly so, but there will be uh, a big inquest. And, uh, you know, when it comes to my yeah, my investic player of the match, yeah, you think if a player gets three tries, it's going to be him. But no, for me, Jamison Gibson Park, he was the, uh, the driver in chief. He was the orchestrator, both in attack and defence. When Leinster needed direction, he was the one who gave it. And he is my investic player of the match. Led from start to finish. James Lowe finished the tries, but that man created almost every single thing that happened. In the end, it was closer than anybody in a Leinster or blue jersey at Crow Park would have wanted to see. Northampton, they fought in the second half. They scrapped for everything, and it was almost enough in the end. Incredibly for them, they'll have huge questions over what if in terms of their performance. But Leinster, they're in a final zone, and that's all that counts. Yeah, they are. And look, you semi-finals are really about one thing, and that's getting to the final. Uh, I think they'll have a lot to think about. Three weeks' time, I think it's this day, three weeks. Uh, brilliant against La Rochelle. In control for periods of this game, they gave an absolute mar master class. But unfortunately... That dominance wasn't registered where it mattered on the scoreboard and they left them vulnerable. Uh, if you end up playing a uh, Harlequins or Toulouse, either side on the basis of the vulnerability that Leinster showed at time, will feel that they have a chance to go all the way in a final. But look, that's for another day. Leinster have three weeks to assess where they went wrong and uh, I've no doubt they will pick up from there, learn the lessons and uh, for Leinster and all their supporters now, every road leads to Tottenham Hotspur in North London in three weeks' time. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, the venue for the final, Keen Healy walks out, a record breaker and a relief man I'm sure, you saw Caelan Doris's face at the end, the sigh of relief, Mitchell, it never really happened for the English scrum half, did it today, he wasn't as influential and effective as he normally is and Northampton in the end were just three points shy but for Leinster well a lot to review a lot to work on and three weeks to contemplate an appearance against either Toulouse or Harlequins in the final OK we can go down to the player of the match it is Jameson Gibson Park and he is with Claire McNamara Jameson congratulations you are the player of the match wow that was tighter than you would have liked right at the end there yeah it was um we're certainly a bit patchy, particularly in the second half. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's pretty special to be a part of it. Yeah, the noise there is pretty incredible. I have to thank you all for coming out. It's such an amazing occasion. Um, so we couldn't put out the, the perfect performance, but we got there in the end, which I think is the main thing. Yeah, different venue, but a familiar outcome for you. You were really key to everything Leinster did right in this match. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Um, I'm pretty lucky, like I always say, to be part of a pretty good team and make my job a hell of a lot easier. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think that's the crux of it. Uh, yeah, so many good players out there. I think you could have given it to, to many others today, but... Uh, yeah, I'll take it, I suppose. <laughs> you held off the hat-trick score. What about this crowd and this occasion? What was it like to play in this game? Uh, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? You can hear the noise for yourself. Um... Yeah, we're pretty lucky. We're pretty lucky, aren't we? Uh, thank God we got there in the end. You got there in the end, and now you're off to a final in London to finish the job and get your hands on that trophy again. Yeah, please God. Um, it's another few weeks away yet, uh, so plenty of time for preparing for that. But uh, I think we'll enjoy this, enjoy this special day for the for the meantime, and uh, we'll march on after that. Congratulations, Jemison. Thanks very much. Your captain, Caelan Doris, is here. Caelan, relief on your face there at the end, I suppose, summed it up. That was a bit more helter skelter than you might have liked. Definitely. Credit to Northampton. They're top of the Premiership for a reason. You saw that in the second half. They were definitely pretty dominant throughout that. Um, we made tough work. It was the start we wanted uh, went to plan initially, and yeah, they came right back into it as, as we expect with a team of their quality. Um, but yeah, delighted to be in another final and cracking on. You had worked so hard from kickoff. There was a relentlessness, a ruthlessness. 
but you let Northampton, I suppose, back in there. Yeah, we did. It was test match atmosphere. Um, so good having so many blue supporters here, Leinster supporters. Uh, we could hear them throughout the whole game. It was class, and yeah, they made it a special day for us. A um, little bit disappointed with the second half performance and that we couldn't put on a bit more of a spectacle, but it was class having you all here, and we appreciate it. You must have enjoyed your big day out uh, on the north side of Mayo Man Wing in Croke Park, and not a bad day. Yeah, we've had some tough days as uh, Mayo Man here, so yeah, good, to, good to get a win and uh, crack on to the next one. Congratulations, Caelan. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, Caelan Doris there with Claire, and I thought for a while maybe the Mayo curse was going to follow him around <laughs> because uh, Jameis and Gibson Park said, Fiona, thank God we got across the line. So say all of us, because we were nervous. I think the whole of Ireland was nervous there. Yeah, for about 60 minutes that game, it just didn't, it felt like Leinster were so dominant, and just to allow Northampton back into it that easily, it seemed in the end. Those two, two tries just seemed too easy for them to take, and you know, they'll obviously take this win, they're marching to a final, but to, lo to lose our uh, wins are going to be another, another step up again. Well, they're marching to a final here behind us, and they're walking passes here, Jamie. The look of relief on their faces is something you can only see here on TV. It's incredible. They sense it too. Yeah, um, I think they're going to be disappointed with the amount of territory possession moments that they had where they could have got a couple of tries, but that's for Monday. You know, they, they've gotten the win. They're going to the final. That's, that's the most important thing. Plenty of work, work on. They did a lot right. Um, they didn't do much wrong. They just didn't get a, the normal return that we see Leinster get in terms of points on the board. Um, we just didn't see that today. And, and credit to, to Northampton because they didn't go down. When they didn't lie down, they stayed in the fight and, and they, they were still in with it at come the end. But, you know, for today, Leinster are, are the one who can take the plaudits and uh, they can start prepping now for, I think it's going to be Toulouse. But, um, uh, you know, a, a, a big opportunity to, to chase that elusive fifth star. Yeah, Bernard has joined us as well here at pitch side, and Don Lenehan referred to it. Their semi-finals are all about winning, and from a Leinster point of view, that's all they can do today. But I think there's plenty that they can consider there in that last 15 minutes in particular. Yeah, uh, as Jamie said, they didn't do a huge amount of wrong. I think if you think back to the game, Le Northampton spent a lot of time in their own half. Leinster had a lot of phases, but didn't win many penalties, so they didn't have many chances to kick a goal or kick to the corner put a squeeze on him so Northampton deserved massive credit for that I think it's, it's hard to pinpoint one thing but I think Ross Byrne would be gutted with that penalty he missed to go 23-10 up um, that was a huge moment for Leinster and then from there Northampton seemed to get a little bit of a lift in terms of confidence and Leinster seemed to get a little bit nervy and until Leinster start winning trophies they are going to be nervy you know what I mean yeah. and, and the first they, they got through this and they'll, they'll, they'll try and take the positives out of that but You'd like to have a silverware there going into the last five or ten minutes of a game like this where one mistake knocks you out. Now, they got away with it today, but even at the end there, some of the scramble was really good, but yet they were hanging on, took a big turnover from Caelan Doris. So far from perfect, lots of really good things, but you'd, you'd expect you need a lot more in London. Yeah. All right, well, one man certainly lit up the place here today. James Lowe got three tries. He's with Claire. James Lowe, who's this that's with you? Uh, it's my little bubba Nico. Uh, Nico Hemi Lowe. Uh, he turned one a couple of weeks ago, so uh, he's probably very cranky. Hello, what do you got? <laughs> it really is the low show in Croke Park today then, isn't it? I think it's Jamison's show, to be fair. He's playing some unbelievable footy and making it, making it look a little bit easy. Yes, I know. Um, but no, hey, this is such a privilege to play, play in a stadium like this. 80, 82,000 turned up, tickets sold so, so fast, you know, and um, we're, like I said, it's an absolute privilege. And uh, do you want to hold it, Bubba? Uh, yeah, it was an absolute privilege to be able to get, be given this opportunity and, uh, you know, we'll cherish it because days like this don't come around often. What was it like to score a hat-trick here? You seem to very much enjoy it. Yeah, I, I was just saying, I reckon I, I ran it collectively about 10 metres for it, so, um, you know, Boys, boys put that on a platter for me and I was just the man on the end of it to, to put the ball down. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do. Northampton put us under a lot of pressure. We put ourselves under a lot of pressure. Fair play, it's why they're the best team in the Prem, if you ask me. They did put you under a lot of pressure at the end. Did you have any worries in those closing minutes? <laughs> I, th I think all 80-odd thousand had, had a few worries, but, you know, big, big players stepped up in big moments. We had... Jack Conan get that turnover straight after it. He was like, oh, Jackie turnover again. So, um, you know, special, special players, big plays, important times. That's it.
special day. Congratulations. Enjoy with your son. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys, and thank you everyone for coming. Ah, oh, there is no show like a low show, and he turns it on, on and off the pitch every single time. Great to see some of these kids with their dads enjoying these moments here in Croke Park. And they have got a Champions Cup final to look forward to in a couple of weeks' time. We're